and then it as it rides, it rides forward, and then after f it goes forward a little ways, it goes up, and as it goes up, then it just like dematerializes and like it's gone, and actually something kind of weird happens to the screen, um, which I don't know. It's the it, it's seriously a very very odd mind bending video, and that's where uh, I'm gonna stop with uh, the Egypt thing, and I, I gotta I gotta jump back here. To, to put this all together properly. Basically, the idea there um, in the Conspiratist documentary is that these aliens or apparitions or what have you, um, because there, if you look into it, there's um, a lot of testimony by people who have done years upon years of research in uh, the UFO community who have come to the conclusion that UFOs are in all reality not a physical phenomena. They're in all reality an interdimensional or spiritual phenomena. There are many reasons for this. Uh, one being they lie to the people that they uh, encounter they tell people often um, after these people report, uh, you know, these people report gruesome, grotesque uh, abduction stories, and these people all almost always say that the these beings, these you know, supposed aliens, are telling them that you know they're here to help them and all that kind of stuff, and it's just like you know, uh, it doesn't make sense, you know, like so they're they're telling you they're here to help you, but you're they're you, they're putting you through this horrific trauma. Um, it makes no sense at all. So, that shows that these are highly deceptive beings. And then it points out, this documentary Conspiratist, points out something very interesting regarding certain researchers. Uh, these researchers are three men by the name of Bill Cooper, Fritz Springmeier, and John Todd. All of these men exposed the so-called aliens for what they really were. Bill Cooper was almost completely there, and Fritz Springmeier and John Todd went all the way. Bill Cooper was a man who was ex-military intelligence, and Bill Cooper uh, started talking about UFOs and crazy craft and the ability that the government had with these craft. And you know, at first he thought that the alien threat was real, and then toward the end of his career, before he was killed. He came out and said that he believed that he had certain documents put in front of him so he would come out and talk about them and, you know, say certain things and yada yada. And so he eventually said that uh, he believes that the government may stage an alien threat, although it may not be an alien threat. And I do believe that that is correct. I do believe that is absolutely on the elite's agenda. Um, that's why you see such alien propaganda. That's why when you, uh, you're watching the Super Bowl this evening, uh, you saw the halftime show. The musical artist came down, uh, essentially standing on flying saucers. <laughs> this is basically from the sky. It was ridiculous. So, um, and they came out dressed. Everything was space aged craziness. Um, but yeah, watch the Super Bowl halftime show. You'll understand exactly what I'm speaking of when I say this. They're putting the alien meme out there. I definitely think that's, you know, part of what they're doing. Uh, Bill Cooper, Fritz Springmeier, and John Todd. Bill Cooper, like I said, exposed that part of the uh, alien um, false flag. Fritz Springmeier. Now, Fritz Springmeier and John Todd both said that in all reality, these aliens, just like the people that have been studying UFOs for years, for decades have come to the conclusion that these UFOs are in all reality an interdimensional or spiritual phenomena rather than a physical phenomena. And Be sure to register your copy of SAM at www.spatialaudio.com. You'll feel... So she try that again. What she starts telling me about uh, is frequently. I forgot the date that the event happened on. It was uh, it was almost completely there in Fritzburg, or uh, 
they, they glow in the dark, you know, and Fritz Springmeier and John Todd explain it simply when they say, it's agenda, um, that's why you see such alien propaganda, that's why when you, uh, you're watching the Super Bowl this evening, uh, you saw the halftime show, the musical artist came down, uh, essentially standing on flying saucers, <laughs> is basically from the sky, it was ridiculous, so, um, and they came out dressed, everything was space-aged craziness, um, but yeah, watch the Super Bowl halftime show, you'll understand exactly what I'm speaking of when I say this. They're putting the alien meme out there, I definitely think that's, you know, part of what they're doing. Uh, Bill Cooper, Fritz Springmeier, and John Todd. Bill Cooper, like I said, exposed that part of the, uh, alien, um, false flag. Fritz Springmeier, now, Fritz Springmeier and John Todd both said that in all reality... These aliens, just like the people that have been studying UFOs for years, for decades, have come to the conclusion that these UFOs are in all reality an interdimensional or spiritual phenomena rather than a physical phenomena. And Fritz Springmeier and John Todd explain it simply when they say, uh, uh, and this is, uh, I believe, uh, Fritz Springmeier directly says this, that there are no good aliens the aliens are really demons and that in all reality is what we are looking at when we see these orbs of light in the sky there are videos on youtube where you can find uh... actually chemtrail planes where chemtrail planes are emitting chemtrails and they have these uh... what just appear to be lights on the plane and all of a sudden these lights you know these uh... they're they're circular lights and these these circular orbs just detach and start floating around and then t reattach it's the craziest stuff you ever there, there's those then uh... there are other ones where the planes literally like fade in and out of uh... existence it's absolutely ridiculous and then there are these orbs without the planes, just, you know, the orbs just appear by themselves. Then there are other videos of these other beings of light that are usually either uh, pink or yellowish-greenish. And they almost look like, uh, they look like, you know those uh, water noodles, floaty noodles, for, for in like a pool? They look like those almost, or like those things where, uh, you know when it's dark and you're, you're at like, say, uh, the fair or something, or a concert? And they have those necklaces that uh, they they glow in the dark. You know, you you break them and they glow. And usually they're like you know alien green or like they can be red or black light purple or whatever. Um, but they almost look like those things. And they're like I said, they they look like they're made of light. They look like they're beings of light. It's very weird. And there there's there are plenty of videos like this on YouTube that you can find. And I'm talking about enough evidence to where. I'll be damned if I actually buy that there are this many people in this many different parts of the world that are getting together, you know, like, in conspiracy to fabricate these videos. I seriously doubt it. All right. This documentary, like I said, points out that Bill Cooper, Fritz Springmeier, and John Todd all exposed the so-called aliens for what they really were, and they were all either murdered or set up and disappeared for a long time. Bill Cooper murdered. He's no longer in existence. They killed him. Fritz Springmeier, they set up... Um, as being involved in a bank robbery, I'm sure he wasn't. And he was actually he was in prison for I believe over a te over a decade. Um, he was just recently released. Who I would love to try to interview, by the way. Um, I'm going to try to get a hold of Fritz Springmeier and see if I can possibly interview him if he will speak. I'd love to have him on the show. And John Todd, John Todd, they set John Todd up for rape, never to be heard from again. All exposed the aliens or the alien threat as being a government false flag when they pull that. Uh, and Fritz Springmeier and John Todd went all the way exposing the aliens for what they were, calling them demons. And in this documentary, Conspiratus, there are clips of an interview with a man who belonged to a secret society. Which secret society did he belong to? I don't know. I suspect the Golden Dawn or the OTO, but I'm not positive. What I do know is that after I saw this documentary, I absolutely had to track down this interview because the clips that I saw were just, I was like, if this guy is for real, 
you know, I mean, I must look into this and I must look into this now. So it took me days to find it. And I found it on YouTube and I favorited it. You can go to my channel. Like I said, that's why I wanted to um, get all my ducks in a row. YouTube.com slash Derek in the Midwest. And go there. And first thing you need to watch is click favorites. Scroll all the way down. And it's the last video on favorites. Scroll all the way down. Just click favorites. Scroll all the way down immediately. And watch that video. It's Conspiratus Remake Part 1. And then watch that whole thing, Parts 1 through 13. And then after you watch that, watch the video right above it, right above the 13th part of Conspiratus. And what you do is actually you just watch all those videos, and you watch them from bottom up. All my favorited videos, just click my favorites tab, you scroll all the way to the bottom, and start from the bottom and work your way up. You watch them in order. That'll, it's, I put them in this order for a reason. They'll, it'll make the most sense this way. All right? So do that and you can find the information that I'm talking about it's all I'm asking you to do is when I present this to you you go there you do the research that I've done once you have the information that I have then you can give me what your opinion is and I will listen and we can bat information back and forth but don't come at me you know and, and speak to me until you have the information that I have that's all that I ask go there check this out and uh, and and then get back to me if you don't believe what I'm what I'm telling you tonight. All right, that's it. Now, um, this Roger Morneau interview. Roger Morneau is a member of Secret Society. He claims that he got out. I I believe this. Now, I started watching this interview with Roger Morneau, and this was uh, about four days ago. And during the interview, this awesome thing happens. I was watching and analyzing Roger Morneau um, and his, you know, his actions and his mannerisms, and he appeared to completely be calm, and he had, you know, no signs of lying or deception, and I'm like, okay, this guy seems completely credible and for real. Um, no twitches, no blinks, no eye movements, seems, you know, completely normal, complete, you know, just absolutely natural. You know, he's he, for sure he's telling the story from memory rather than telling it from some sort of like memorized script or like you know conspired plan or whatever. So, I, I I'm I'm to the point where I believe his credibility. Now, to understand this next uh, part here, you have to understand uh, me as a person, and a lot of you know me. Uh, yeah, I'm Derek in the Midwest, and I do a show at Slim Swayze. And, uh, you know, you know that I'm past the left-right paradigm, and I'm past the BS of Alex Jones, and, you know, I, uh, I'm past the BS of controlled opposition groups like We Are Change, you know, the top of which, and like I said, I, I love We Are Change as an idea, but, you know, the whole thing is uh, dirty at the top. So, um, you know, you guys, you guys know where I stand, and I think that I think that you know that I, I go where the information takes me, and I wouldn't be at this point doing what I'm doing right now if it wasn't for the information bringing me here. That being the case, understand me um, when I'm not on air. To be honest, I'm uh, I'm usually depressed. I'm usually really, really depressed all the time. Um, for the last two years, I've been pretty, pretty damn depressed. <laughs> And for the last, uh, say, I don't know, about three or four months, it's, you know, gradually gotten worse week by week, just all the time, you know, getting worse. I, uh, I've i never, ever been to a church service. I, I have a big family, but uh, and they're all Christians. They're either uh, Lutherans, Protestants, or Catholics. And I've, you know, they never forced me to go to church, so I never went. So I've never really, you know, I've never really had a great opinion of the Christian faith. I was, you know, uh, it's definitely a box, you know. It's just, it's one of these religions that was created by the New World Order to keep people wrapped up um, and closed-minded. To some degree, some degree, I believe that's true. But I also believe that that's not true, and this is what I mean by that. I do believe there's uh, inherent truth in the Bible, but I believe the Bible has been corrupted. 
Now, I'll leave that at that, and I'm not going to get into any more specifics at this point as far as that specific thing goes. Um, but, like I was telling you, um, 